AFL's a dream. A lot of people say that, but yeah, AFL's a dream. ground and it doesn't matter where you come from you know everyone can achieve great things. I was like okay why not have a try this new sport and I went out and I've loved it ever since. We've got to break down barriers and our game is for its 150 year history it's been a game for all but of course with the, the recent migrants into our country many have not had the chance to actually experience uh, the AFL at, uh, at particularly at a talent level, to see what's required to actually make the grade. We want to take down those barriers and give them further education and further opportunity. Football has given me a lot of self-esteem, it's given me a lot of confidence. Everyone's there playing for the same thing, for the premiership and all the, the friendship and like we, they're your best mates every week and you just joke around them. Just, I don't know, love chilling with them. It's actually a way you know, to, uh, to mix in with the community. It's, it's just a, a great talking point for them and starters. We're trying to break down barriers in, in telling them that the game of Australian rules is a great way of you know, feeding in and you know, having a great time. It doesn't matter if you're, you're black, white, it matter if you're tall, short or what. So uh, this game offers a lot. It's such a great game that anybody can play it. Multicultural program is where everyone from different backgrounds all join as one to one team. It's not every day you get to be part of such a good program like this. It gives you the experience of high level testing and like the experience of listening to like really knowledgeable people talk about different aspects of football and things that will help you football. Uh, so to have boys from backgrounds right around the world in this camp is just fantastic. I think 36 different countries across the 80 boys that joined the camp early in the week is a wonderful representation of the young talent about. It's been really intense. We've had umpiring sessions, um, nutrition talks, um, leadership sessions and today the testing, you know, the boys really got behind each other, you know, when they were hurting a little bit. I think I can just picture Nick Natanui, the first time I saw the young West Coast player play, he was playing for, for WA at under 16 level, and just even at the opening bounce, when he floated through the air to get the hit out to his rover, we thought, gee, that boy has got elite athletic ability. The athleticism that they showed, the speed and endurance was, was, was unbelievable. If you even think of the Jim Stein story, I'm talking about Jim, the, the Gaelic player that come halfway around the world, his courage in the attack on the ball and his unique Gaelic kicking skills. We had Tom Lino today who's from 17 years old and, and never played for a team and you know, ne nearly beat what would be considered the AFL's, um, I guess, vertical jump record that Nick Natanui holds. He's just come in and you know, got smashed it basically. So they bring uh, their own uh, sporting background, cultural uh, awareness into our game which, um, which uh, makes our game far more robust overall. The first lessons I learnt playing AFL footy was obviously respect, honesty, trust, it's all of those values. That's what these guys will learn. I've learned that like you can be good but it's not no, always gonna work out. Always respect the people around you and thank them for this opportunity because you, you can never might never get it again in your whole life. They have walked away, I'm, I'm sure, by the end of this camp, having learned more about other cultures, the game of Australian rules football, and what it takes to be an elite athlete, and, and just how to um, how they need to act away from the football field as well. And I think we preach to them, you know, with their education, how important it is. If I was like, I didn't play footy, I never got the chance to meet these people around here. Today we got a tour of um, Hawthorne, which was really interesting, because, you know, if I was a normal person, I would never got to see that. Our squad right now has developed so much that if they got the opportunity to play together, I I'm sure that a Sudanese kid would go lay a great shepherd, you know, for a Japanese kid, and, you know, it's, it's been terrific.
boys show such great talent and with our support and guidance I guess we, we hope that they can progress further and um, take back their ex experiences more importantly to their communities to their clubs and, and, and share that knowledge. We look forward to the day where um, all of the youth of Asia and, and Africa that have come into this country and the, and the South Pacific uh, are embracing the game and are the heroes of the game. Everyone here has got the ability, obviously. It just comes down to how much you want, really want it and I think I'm up for the challenge. <laughs>